India has become the global epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic. The country's hospitals are at full capacity battling the world's deadliest wave of coronavirus infections. These volunteers from the Archdiocese of Bangalore are joining the fight. The team made up of young Catholics, priests and religious sisters are supplying much needed support to Catholic hospitals overwhelmed by the spike in COVID cases. Well, the situation is such that many people, the patients are dying because of lack of care because people, they are not able to eat, so nobody to feed. So because of that, also people die. So that's where we uh, intervene and uh, help these patients. Father Anil Desa is the youth director of the Archdiocese of Bangalore. Even with full protective equipment, he says volunteers acknowledge the risks of going into hospitals to serve those most in need. They are risking their lives, yes. But at the same time, we don't force anyone. They are coming uh, of their own uh, because they want to serve. Bangalore is the capital of India's southern state Karnataka, which has reported nearly 2 million positive coronavirus cases. Even with the challenges presented by the pandemic, Father Dasa says God can still be seen at work. We can still witness God's love, especially these moments of a crisis. At least we can reach out to one needy person uh, that will heal the world. Although it is one of the world's largest producers of vaccines, only 2.6 percent of India's population has been fully vaccinated. Yet brave people like these young Catholics are providing hope to a country in crisis. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.